I'm going to show you how to tie several knots that every fisherman should master. The first one is a Palomar knot. I'm using a fairly thick 40 pound suffix braid against this white towel, hopefully so that you can see what I'm doing. For the Palomar knot, you're going to go into the hook, the eyelet of the hook, and then back through again. So I've doubled my line and the hook is freely swinging between the double line. At this point, what I'm going to do is just a basic overhand knot. I take one end, loop it around, go through that opening, that loop. Now what I've created is another loop. At this point, the, what really makes the Palomar knot work is I go back through the entire bait or hook in this case. Now the knot is essentially done. What I need to do is tighten everything down. This is a braid so you really don't need to wet it. If it were a monofilament or fluorocarbon I would wet the, the line. And I'm going to pull it nice and snug. Now one disadvantage of a Palomar knot is this long tag end. And if I'm trying to tie on to, let's say, a spinnerbait, I have to make that loop big enough to go all the way around the spinnerbait. So once you have this tag end, obviously I'm going to cut it off. But one disadvantage of a Palomar is that if every time I'm cutting off two, three, four inches of line, after a month or two months' time, I'm really greatly reducing the amount of line on my reel. So that's the Palomar knot, one of the strongest knots. Again, you should master this. You should be able to tie this with your eyes closed, tie it in a rocking boat with, with wind. You should be able to tie this in probably less than 20 to 30 seconds. The second knot I'm going to show you is called a Snell knot. Snell knots are used in saltwater applications, but also in bass fishing, they're used on punching rigs, and this is a punching hook. I'll explain how to use a bunch, uh, punching rig in a whole other video. To start, I'm going to start on this hook side of the hook and go through the eyelet one time. Pull out quite a bit, and I'm just going to run this line right down the shank of the hook and create a big loop. It doesn't have to be too big, not as big as the Palomar loop. Okay? At that point, I'm going to pinch the line and the shank right there. And with this tag end, I'm going to go around the bait keeper, but in front of the eyelet, five to seven times. So one, two, three, four, five. Once I've done that, I'm going to take my tag end and go back through that first loop that I created. Like so. Now at this point, you do not want to tighten this down with the tag end. Again, I want to tighten with the line that's going to my rod. I'm going to slowly tighten it, make sure that it makes it over the bait keeper. At that point, you can tighten everything down as well as the tag end. Trim your tag end. You really don't have to trim it super close because this is going to be covered with plastic and with a weight. And the reason why you use a Snell knot for this and not a Palomar is right here. With a punching rig I've got a heavy weight that slides or you peg it. But when you go to set the hook, this weight heading the hook will catapult or lever that hook right into the roof of the fish's mouth. Just like so. If when I went to tie this knot, I went in the wrong way first and tied the knot, what would happen is when that weight hits the hook, it would catapult this way. It would lever this way and obviously you would lose a lot of fish because the point wouldn't be penetrating into the fish's mouth. So that's how you do a Snell knot.
Another knot that is typically used by a lot of fishermen is called the improved clinch knot. Its advantage is you're not going to have the long tag end like you would in a Palomar. Palomar knot is probably a little better, but as long as you cinch this down nice and tight, you shouldn't have any line or uh, knot breakages. Okay, I'm going to feed this through the eyelid of the hook. It really doesn't matter which way I go, only one time. What I like to do is put my finger right here, that way it creates that loop and I'm not going to lose the loop. I'm going to twist five to seven times. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to take this tag end and go back through where my finger is. Now I've just created a brand new loop right here. I'm going to go back through that loop and that completes the improved clinch knot. Again, if this were monofilament or fluorocarbon, I would wet the line. With a braid, you're not going to have line burning. I snug it down, pull it extremely tight, pull your tag end, and trim. That's the improved clinch knot. The advantage is, you can see this tag end, I've got maybe an inch to two inches. And with a Palomar, you're going to end up sometimes with as much as five, six inches. Again, over the course of a month's time, you're greatly reducing your line on your spool. This knot is called a modified Albright, and it's when I want to attach two lines together. In this case, I've got some Power Pro Super Slick, and it's just like it sounds. It's very slick, and it's used for making long casts. And this is a fluorocarbon leader that would attach and I would use this application in super, super clear water finesse fishing. I need to attach these lines, but it needs to be super strong. Both of these are 10 pound test. So what I'm going to do is take the fluorocarbon side and fold it over and take my braid or super line, whatever I have, go through that loop. Now I'm going to put my finger through that loop so I can so I don't lose that loop. Now what I'm, going to, what I'm going to do is seven wraps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once I have my seventh wrap, I'm going to do seven wraps coming back towards where I began. So right on top of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now if you noticed the direction I put my finger in that first loop, I did that on purpose so that I know which direction I want this to go back through. It's the direction my finger is pointing. Okay. The knot is done. Now all I need, need to do is cinch it up together. So I start pulling on the main line. You want to do it nice and slow because this knot is going to have to go through your guides and you want it to be super thin. This is a knot that's used in fly fishing quite a bit. So pull everything nice and snug, pull all my tag ends. And when I'm done, Trim up the ends, and this knot, I do want to trim my end super, super close because again, this is going to be going through the guides. These scissors aren't the best. There we go. There's one. Get my other tag end. And there you have the modified Albright. It's a very thin knot again, can make it through the guides very easily.